All right, thanks, Carmen. The Senate passed a coronavirus aid bill to help Americans. Joining me now is Arkansas Senator John Bozeman from D.C. with more on the government's response. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Well, thank you for having me. I wish I was in the studio with you, but we're working hard to try and provide some relief really in a very troubled time right now. Yeah, so tell me a little bit about this, this bill that you guys passed yesterday. What exactly does that mean for Arkansans? Well, we've done a couple of bills. The first one was about uh, a little over $8 billion. That was for uh, virus testing, uh, things like that, trying to get a cure, a vaccine. Uh, a little over $6 million was coming to Arkansas to help our health department cope. The bill that we passed yesterday has to do with uh, making sure that as you go to the doctor and you get tested, that's going to be free. Uh, if there's no copay for that, kind of encouraging people to get tested, paying for those kind of bills, and then uh, really along those kind of lines, making sure that we uh, have ample money regarding, uh, uh, you know, if you're unemployed, unemployment insurance, mm -hmm. those kind of things. The next bill that we're, we're really, as we speak, working on has to do with trying to get liquidity. People don't have any cash flow right now. Uh, people don't have the ability to, to have the cash flow to operate their businesses. So we're trying to get money out to them and also to people in general so they can pay their rent, things like that, their car payments. And what we want to be is in a situation where we have businesses to come back to. Many of our businesses now are suffering greatly. Uh, this is probably the greatest crisis that we face since World War II. We, we're facing an enemy, this COVID virus, mm -hmm. that not only is a threat to us physically, particularly to the elderly, but also it's a great threat to our economy, not just the United States, but as we look across the world. Yeah. What would you tell those Arkansans who, um, who do own businesses, who are worried about, you know, we're not going to be able to work? How, how are we going to feed our families? What, what would you tell those Arkansans? No, I, I understand. And, 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 you know, the good news now is everybody's really working together. Uh, there's great recognition that there are a lot of people that they're in, you know, significant uh, trouble in that regard. Again, cash liquidity, having money to, to operate right now. So that's what this next bill is going to be about. But we're talking about helping uh, businesses in the sense of employers, uh, also employees and trying to get money out in the economy right away, mm -hmm. not to buy things, but just, as you say, to pay bills, to keep these businesses running. And so uh, we're in a difficult time right now. We're blessed. We've got the greatest, best uh, uh, communicable disease network in, in the world. Uh, we're in good shape there. But what we're trying to do, what we're going to do, is make it such that we do whatever we need to do. Cost is not a factor right now whatever we need to do to keep uh, families and communities safe. All right, and I know yesterday Governor Hutchinson said that he was speaking with you guys in Washington to try to to try to um, alleviate some of the, the, the pain that, you know, people are feeling here. Can you tell me a little bit about, uh, I, I guess, is it all that stuff you just mentioned that, that you guys have been, you've been talking with the governor about? Well, we appreciate the governor's leadership. He's doing a great job. We also appreciate uh, our health department. They're doing a very, very good job. UAMS is helping to coordinate that also. Mm -hmm. So it's really everybody working together. I think the important thing, and you all have done a tremendous job also, and I appreciate that. It's all about communication. Uh, communication with lots of little things, hoarding. You know, don't don't go to the store and buy, you know, a lot more than you need. Get what you, what you genuinely need. That'll keep the system running. If we hoard and things like that, that's a problem. Uh, another thing that's coming up is blood supply. We're going to be asking people to, to contact their hospitals or whatever, see how we can donate blood. So there's lots of little things that, that there's so many people that are willing to jump in and do the right thing. Uh, the, the most important thing is social distancing. Mm -hmm. I know it's hard in Arkansas. We like to hug each mm -hmm. other and mm -hmm. shake hands and all of those kind of things. but. Uh, we simply need to stay home as best that we can. Uh, and again, the concern is I'm not concerned about getting it myself, you know, in the sense of I need to do my job. What I'm concerned about is getting it and giving it to someone else. 
So we have to be responsible. It's not just about yeah. us. It's about protecting others. And uh, so, you know, these things are very, very important. But, but I appreciate the governor's leadership. All right. and, uh, there is good communication among them. And the rest of the delegation, everybody is truly working together. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. And I know you have a, a lot of work to get to there in Washington. Well, thank you so much for having me. We do appreciate all the great work that you all are doing. Thank you. All right.